So we're here at a shoe store, mountain bike shoes versus road shoe. We've got a little physique shoe here, which I don't really recommend, I thought it's pretty narrow, but it's got a stiff carbon sole. It's a mountain bike shoe. Doesn't flex. Stiff! Stiff! So no flex there. There's no torsional stiffness, uh, flexity, sorry. So very, very good. So great product. Um, carbon shoe. Carbon shoe? Yeah, so very, 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 very stiff, all right? Then we're gonna get a road shoe down here. Uh, this is the road shoe. Everyone says, oh, you gotta use road shoes because they're stiffer. That flexes. That flexes like a piece of bread. A loaf of bread, huh? There's a lot of flex there. So it's a big myth that a road shoe is gonna outperform a mountain bike shoe. All right? If you get a carbon sole mountain bike shoe, those physique ones with this thing, or Shimano, or just give it the stiff test. If you want more comfort, have more flex in your shoe. If you want every second counts, more power. Or be able to push more power to the pedals, then stiffness is what you want in the midsole. Uh, I do recommend the Bond or Shimano Wide Fit. Depends if you've got a wide foot or not. If you've got a narrow foot, then these physique ones are pretty good. I do rate the Boa dial. I don't rate laces, stuff like that. So you have a lot of people, you know, say, oh, Harley, I'd, I used to have mountain bike shoes. And, uh, you know, but they would like these ones with laces that are designed for walk around and they're like quite flexy. And then they get a road shoe, which is stiffer, generally. And they, oh, they make the conclusion, they throw the baby out the bathwater. But what I found is mountain bike shoes actually are stiffer because they're a little bit heavier weight, especially the Bont Vapor XE. I don't know a shoe that's stiffer than that on the market, you know, or maybe even the latest S works. They're super, super stiff. But I like the Bont because the wide toe fit uh, for my wide feet. <clears throat> so, anyway, mountain bike shoe versus road shoe. Mountain bike shoe, stiffer, nine arms at the time. And also, I like the pragmatic ability you can walk around in them, you know. I don't like the road shoe. Road shoe, cleats wear out really quickly. You know, mountain bike shoe, cleats last a lot longer. Cheaper to replace, easier to replace. More comfort, more safety when you're walking around. Zero loss of performance. Unless your name's Chris Froome, and every second counts over the Tour de France where a road shoe combination pedal, you can maybe save 100 grams, you know, over a mountain bike setup. But for nine, all, all us riders out there, if your name's not Chris Froome or etc., then a mountain bike shoe is going to be fine for us. So I've never ever been dropped because I had mountain bike shoes on, ever. And I never ever will be get dropped because no, nobody's going to get dropped because they've got mountain bike shoes on versus road shoes. So get a good quality mountain bike shoe. It's in vest. It's going to last you many, many years. Carbon sole stiffness and uh, hold your ankle. And if you want the best bike buyer's guide, I've just updated it. I continually update it. So if you bought it before, you get an update. Uh, it is $34.99. It is the best the best cycling tips book ever written. It's got the best bike buyers guide. So all the best product from wheels, tires, pedals, shoes, etc. So get a copy of that. Go to durinrider.com. Durinrider's Lean Body Bible. It's what I eat, how I train, how you should eat, how you should train. If you want to be lean for life, natural, drug free, and getting crazy results, having fun, getting it done. And bike buyers guide so you don't get ripped off with buying shitty product. That doesn't really last that well. It's the surface area of the clear that matters. That has zero. Look at speed play little tiny pedal. All right has zero implications at all. What you want for power transfer is the stiffness of the sole. Stiffness of the sole, that's that's the surface area there. Right? That's the connection point, boom, pushing. Otherwise, if that was true what the moods out there say about mountain bike shoes and pedals, then not, why are World Cup races using uh, mountain bike pedals? Why they, on a dry day, why don't they use a road shoe and pedal? Why not, exactly? Because there's no loss of power at all. It's just an extra weight penalty. If you're a Tour de France level, GC contender, then that 100 grams, that's going to add up. But for all the other riders out there, it doesn't matter. Get something that's stiff if you want performance. And Bont Vapor XC, that's doing riders number one pick as the all round shoe. Good enough for the Tour de France, unless James Kiss Room, and good enough for being a bike messenger, good enough for racing World Cup cross country races, good enough for being a messenger or whatever. So that twice, and say that again, good enough for your messenger, good enough to walk around in. So there you go. Bont Vapor XC, my thumbs up. And now it's non. Uh, leather, so it's got a vegan leather upper. It's got the boa dials replaceable. Hard to find. Hard to find though. Beautiful, beautiful temps. Uh, so, you, some so some people might say, hey, weight loss. A cycling shoe helps you lose weight. How does that even work, during rider Harley? How does that even work, mate? Well, here's the thing: the shoe you use the most is going to be the most comfortable shoe, the most pragmatic shoe. For a road shoe, for me, is not pragmatic. The cleats wear out really quick. Pain in the ass to walk around on. You can't, can't climb fruit trees. You can't jump fences. You can't 
you know, walk up really steep muddy gravel roads, which I like to ride my road bike up, um, you know, or walk my road bike up if it's too steep for traction. You know, so the road shoe, I mean, I've had the best road shoes you can get, but custom ones, you know, thousand dollar road shoes, custom stuff. So I can money's no object for me when it comes to bike product. Um, people throw stuff at me for free as well, but I just don't use road shoes anymore because one, well, you can't fight, you can't defend yourself. So you couldn't defend someone else because you're just slipping all over the place. So if you start wrestling or engaging, you know, grappling, you're over because you're slipping on you're on skates. So the best shoe for weight loss is a mountain bike shoe. All right. So people, most people ride their bike because they want to lose weight. All right. Let's just be honest. I I enjoy being lean. I enjoy feeling fast and running up mountains. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy not having a big gut. I enjoy looking down and be able to see my feet, you know, when I look down. So it, it is, you know, cycling is great for that. Combine that with a high carb, low fat vegan diet and you are going to get fucking lean, 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 as we know, you know, as, as I troll, but it is truth, you know, show me a, a fat, high carb vegan and show me a, a, a fucking high carb vegan cyclist who isn't rail thin, rail thin, you know. So if you got to get, uh, if you are losing too much weight, High carb, low fat, vegan, long term, then cut back the cycling. Keep eating healthy, but just cut the cycling right back. And people say, oh, but you exercise, that's why you're so lean. It's like, no, there's so many cyclists out there who are so fat, and they've been riding for 20, 30 years, and they do big miles, and they train hard, but they're eating so much fat. Do they, not, do they burn fat on a ride, come home, have bacon. Burn 100 grams of fat on a big ride, come home, have bacon and eggs and oil. You know, in their salad. And it's like you're burning fat and you come home and replace it with fat. That's why they never lose weight. Well, that's why they can never stay lean. Look at professional riders. Once they quit, poof, balloon out. I'm leaner than Jan Ulrich. And we'll be similar age. You know? Jan Ulrich, Jan Ulrich like he's, looks like he's never ridden a bike. One of the greatest talents in the world. You know? Natural as well. well and dope. But you know what I mean? Like natural, this is incredible, freaky talent. So, um, you know, I'm leaner than him. You know, he's done hundreds of, he's done way more training than I have. He's raced the Tour de France. He's won the Tour de France. I ain't done shit like that. And I'm leaning than those motherfuckers because they eat shit. They eat fatty crap. They're eating dead animals and shit. So it's a lot harder to stay lean. You know, even uh, was Alan Piper, the, 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 you know, he, he was sort of vegetarian. Then I think he had some issues with maybe bowel cancer or colon cancer. All right. So you have to, and he was lean. He didn't eat much meat, but he still did a bit, a bit of too much meat. So you want to like, you know, look after your fucking health, man, and eat high carb, low fat, vegan for life, and ride a bike if you want to stay rail lean. But if you're getting too lean, stop riding, drive a car, burn oil instead of fat. Otherwise, mountain bike shoes—the wind is just—they last a lot longer. To walk around is better. Use mountain bike shoes. Use a high quality. Don't use don't use a twenty dollar pair of mountain bike shoes. Like get some Bont Vapor XC. Get a, get the fucking best. All right, Bont Vapor XC, or the top of the range Shimano shoe. Mountain bike, carbon sole, XT or XDR pedals, you know, and feel the difference. Don't use some cheap ass flexy mountain bike shoe and then go, oh, that's all mountain bike. No, 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 no. That's not a mountain bike shoe. That's a, that's like a, what is that? This is like, that's a gym shoe. This is a spin bike shoe, right? It's for walk around the gym and doing weights and stuff. It's not a real mountain bike shoe. A mountain bike shoe is, you're not going to be able to run that fast in them because they're pretty stiff sold, but you've got a bit of grip. All right, bit enough grip to climb trees, fences, and stand up alright if you have to do a road rage situation. So anyway, that's the rant, that's the rave. Mountain bike shoes to win. You know, I've been riding road bike, I've been racing since December 1997. I'll still race A grade. If I'm going to race, I'm, in, I'm using mountain bike shoes. I'm not going to switch over the road shoes. You know, I've never been dropped because I've got mountain bike shoes on. All right? Never got dropped because I've got a 46 big ring, ever, on the flat.